Greetings YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today you're in for a treat. I am going to be making a cranberry butter and also a cranberry pepper jam. Yes, you heard that right, cranberry pepper jam and it's delicious. We absolutely love cranberries on our homestead. I make um, fresh cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving and Christmas and usually keep it around um, for biscuits and other things. What I usually do is when the cranberries go on sale um, at the end of the year or after, I should say after Christmas and after Thanksgiving, I buy as many bags as I can and I freeze them. And so then I can use them for things like cranberry butter or cranberry jam, uh, pepper jam. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and start um, the cranberry butter and I'm going to do that in the Instant Pot and I'm going to pressurize that for 10 minutes. Very, very simple. I'm going to put two bags of cranberries. These are frozen. A little thawed because I've thrown out on the counter. I'm going to put two bags in the Instant Pot and this one I'm actually going to add apples to. So it's going to be a cranberry apple butter. I love to make apple butter, but this is such a twist on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop up a couple of apples, just a rough chop, like so, and I'm just going to throw those in there. And you can add orange juice to this. When I make my cranberry sauce, I use orange juice, but with, with this, um, adding the apple, I'm going to leave the orange juice out and I'm going to add a cup of water. Cranberries are so, so good for you. They're so good for the urinary tract. Um, for women to just have cranberry juice, it can be unsweetened, or you can just make cranberry sauce. And you can put as much or as little sugar as you like in it. Um, I'm going to add, you can either add a half or a full cup. Cranberries are quite tart. I'm going to go ahead and do right in, the, in between. And I'm using a fourth cup. So I'm going to do three fourths. So just a happy medium. We don't like it real, real sweet, but I don't like it real, real tart either. I'm going to give that a stir and then I'm going to put that on. You can add cinnamon to this as well. You don't have to, whatever your preference. I'm going to stick this in the Instant Pot, let it go for 10 minutes and then I'm going to do a quick release. So I'm not going to let it sit, I'm going to do the quick release. you guys if you do not have an instant pot boy they are the bomb I use mine for absolutely everything oops 10 minutes I'm gonna let that go make sure that the vent is closed and then we are going to move on to our cranberry pepper jam okay we are going to use one or two minced jalapenos. I have already cut this one up, deveined it, deseeded it. So this is a large one. So I would consider this maybe two, but I'm gonna just do one. Mine was a medium size. We don't like it real, real hot. We like it hot, but not real hot. And what I'm gonna do is I am real, real sensitive to jalapenos. So I try not to touch it. I made the mistake some years ago going over to a friend's and we decided we were going to make stuffed jalapeno peppers. Well, I had never worked with jalapenos before. So I went ahead with my bare hands, deveined and deseeded. Boy, I'm telling you, my hands were on fire literally two days. That entire day was ruined. I just sat there and nothing helped. Nothing at all helped. So I don't do that anymore. 
So that's how I'm going to do that. Just make it real fine. This is a little Pampered Chef chopper. I'm going to leave the link below in case any of you are interested. This is an amazing little gadget. My thing on here from using it so much has cracked, but I'm still using it. But it is absolutely wonderful. So there you go. That's how minced you want it. I'm going to do the other. Using gloves is a good thing if you're going to be doing this. I am going to use my spatula. Let me see if I can find my other one. Voila. I don't want to touch this at all. So I'm going to scoop it like so. This will work. May not be the most practical thing to do, but hey, I don't have to burn. That was the worst experience ever. I didn't even want to eat jalapenos for the longest time after that because it hurt so bad. Okay, so these are going straight into the sink, so I don't have to touch them. Okay, so we have the jalapeno in here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my bag of cranberries. in my pan and I'm going to add a cup of water like so and again you can put either a cup a half a cup since this is only one bag I'm going to do a half a cup And you know what? Taste it as you go along. And if you feel like you need to add more, you can do that. That's the nice thing. Okay, so let me see here. Okay. I have to make sure I'm looking at the right recipe here. Okay, this is one tablespoon, I mean one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is a half. So I will do that twice. Okay. Let's see here. Apple cider vinegar, water, sugar, cranberries, and jalapenos. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on the stove top. And just like when you're making cranberry sauce, you're going to wait till it starts popping. And if you've never made cranberry sauce, what you do is you bring this to a boil and then they'll start popping. But you want to make sure that you <laughs> stand aside and you have to put an apron on because it will splat on you. So then you'll turn it down and you'll let it simmer for 10 minutes. And then we will proceed. But oh boy, this is going to be delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the stove top now and I'll bring you back as soon as we are done. Okay. The cranberry um, jam is done, and now I'm gonna go ahead and ladle it into the jars. It really um, cooked down. I probably should have done more. I'm hoping it'll fill two jars, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It looks absolutely delicious. And one thing that I was gonna mention, and I tasted it, it's so yummy. You have to taste it just to make sure that you know you've got enough sweetener in there. Um, one thing that you can do that I don't do is you can actually put um, your jalapeno peppers. You can put those in afterwards if you like, you know, that bit of um, spiciness in your jam. I kind of like it cooked in, so then you don't taste, you know, just all of a sudden. A bit of spiciness but some people like that so it can be done either way okay I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my jars I went ahead and cleaned these they are good to go and I'm going to go ahead and water bath can these when 
Um, everything comes out of the Instant Pot. Just want to show you how yummy this looks. Oh my goodness, guys. It is so amazing. And like I said, oh, there goes the Instant Pot. I think that's just a little bit more than I want. You want to give yourself, you know, that inch of headspace there. So there we go. Look at how delicious that is. And that color is so true. It's not like, you know, anymore, if you're buying jam in the store, you kind of wonder when you see the color, is that truly the color or are they adding red 40 to it? I always wonder about that. I think this might make exactly two, which I will be thrilled with. Yes. Look at that as I make a mess. Exactly two, yay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to wipe the rims because you always wanna make sure that there is nothing on them that would keep it from giving you a really good seal. You can use vinegar or you can just use, you know, a clean cloth. I usually just use a clean cloth. Okay, and because it is so hot, it's probably gonna seal itself right away, <laughs> but that is not a true seal. Okay. And then, just a finger tight. Look at those. Aren't those amazing? And they make such wonderful gifts as well. They make wonderful gifts. One of the European traditions I think I've told you about that um, I was raised with was when we would go visiting someone's house, we always brought, you know, brought something. And so I have carried that on in my girl's house. So when we go to someone's house, we will just automatically bring something along as a little gift, a token of appreciation and thank you. But anyway, okay, I have finished these. So now I'm going to go ahead and quick release my Instant Pot. And then once that comes to a quick release, I will take you back and I will show you how we will do um, the Instant Pot Cranberry Apple Butter. Okay, I wanted to show you what it looked like in the Instant Pot. Look at that, you can see the apples. I did go ahead and add cinnamon to it. It smells amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is because it is a butter, I'm going to stick it in um, the blender here and blend it up. And I will show you how creamy and pureed it is when it's done. Okay, I wanted to show you how much I got out of the two bags. That was quite a bit more than the one bag here. Look at that, it is so creamy and blended together now. So it's more of a butter, which will be perfect on biscuits, um, crumpets, whatever. You can even add it into dishes. If you're making a bread and you wanted some cranberry, you could add that in there. Um, the options again are endless. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my little jars. Just pour it in and it will thicken up. If you're wondering about that. These little jars are just perfect. Like I said, for gifts, they're also perfect just to take out, you know, for, for supper. We will just go through one of these with all of us. Make sure, just about. These little ones are such great little jars. I am one of these. I love mason jars of any size, shape. <laughs> I love them. I feel like I'm one of these, you know, I used to be a basket case because I love baskets. I still love baskets but I have this fetish with jars. And so when I saw these, I thought these are so perfect. They're perfect for, you know, a soup to take with me for lunch. Um, they're perfect for, you know, your little jams, your little butters. I love little jars, big jars, you name it. I'm always looking for jars. Okay, I think that's the right size. Let's see how many we will be able to fill. It's always so much fun to see what you end up getting. And this is just such a fun recipe. You know, cranberries don't have to be one of those things that you only use during the holidays. 
it can be used all year long and you know because of the health benefits it's really something that we should incorporate into our diet regularly you can just throw some cranberries into a smoothie um, you know look at that perfect <laughs> look at that okay so it made five I'm gonna go ahead and put jar lids on these after I clean it off clean off the lids and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just water bath these um, I'm not even going to bother showing you. Everybody kind of knows how to water bath. They're just going to seal them. But I hope that uh, you will give this a try. I'm going to leave the recipe for both of these in the description box below. And hopefully you will try these. And maybe you've got um, a recipe that you use cranberries for. Because I love cranberries. And I'm always looking for new recipes. And these are just some that we use. And hopefully you'll give them a try as well but um, I hope that you all are doing well I'm going to start doing some um, more segments in the kitchen making salves and different things that we use around here in hopes that that might inspire you to do the same um, and maybe it's something that you need or something that you'd like to learn how to do and I can show you how but anyway guys I'm going to end for now I'm going to get these all sealed and I'm going to put them in the water bath can or finish them up and have them ready for um, a special weekend that we have planned. We're going to meet some other homesteaders and it's just going to be fun to bring some of these uh, when we go visiting. But anyway guys, I hope that you are all doing well. Stay cool. I know summertime's here. I hope gardens are doing well. But anyway guys, um, if you have not subscribed, which I know a lot of you have not, I'm asking that you please do. We are almost at 1,500 subscribers, and I did want to share with you that we are going to start going live. I think we're going to start going live Mondays at 5. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to let you know. I hope that, or 5.30, um, I hope that um, you can join us when we go live on Mondays. This is something new we've never done before. We will have a great big giveaway on when we reach 1,500 subscribers, and we only need nine. So those of you that have not subscribed, please do so, um, so that we can have this uh, big giveaway. And we would just love to be able to, um, you know, meet with you and talk with you live. Um, I know this is fun, and you can give me your comments, but it's going to be fun to be able to, you know, uh, communicate one on one and. You guys can ask us things. We're going to share different subjects, and maybe you can tell us subjects that you would like us to talk about. But we just thought it would be fun to start going live and uh, meet with you on a regular basis. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end for now. Again, if you've not subscribed, please do so. Give us a thumbs up if you um, would like, and also ring that notification bell as to when we'll have another video. Until next time, guys, God bless you.